once upon a time, or maybe twice. Welcome or welcome back to the Magical Mystery Mike channel and a look at this unique item from 2016. This is, of course, the Beatles Lego Yellow Submarine Building Toy, set number 21306. This is a set that I bought as a Christmas gift for a Junior Beatles fan back in 2016. It was built, played with, and eventually discarded in a bin with multiple other Lego pieces. While doing some spring cleaning recently, I came across this original box and decided to track down all the pieces. It was time for me to reclaim this set as my own. Amazingly, after several hours, I had recovered all 553 pieces to complete the set. Here's a look at the front of the box, showing what's included within, and indicating that this is part of the LEGO Ideas line. As such, there is a subset number of 015. This set is intended for those 10 years of age or older, so I'm set there. The back of the box gives some more details, including the dimensions of the sub and some of its unique features. Additional information on the LEGO Ideas process is also included. The top of the box features manufacturing and distribution information, as well as a photo of the LEGO figures of the Beatles in actual size. As you can imagine, due to the inclusion of small parts, a choking hazard is included as well. The bottom of the box provides trademark, copyright, and licensing information. This is an officially licensed product of Apple Corps Limited. The right side of the box features the Yellow Submarine movie versions of Ringo and George, while the left side has Paul and John. It's a nicely designed box. Let's look inside. This 152-page booklet is provided. An introduction indicates, when the spectacular Yellow Submarine debuted in 1968, it was instantly recognized as a landmark film that took animation beyond anything seen before. Together with LEGO fan designer Kevin Zetto, we are proud to present our version of the iconic submersible as our 15th product in the LEGO Idea series. Some background information on the Yellow Submarine film is then given, followed by the bulk of the book being the instructions on the 137 steps required to complete the build. There is also a bit of commentary included by that Yellow Submarine fan designer, Kevin Zetto, and Lego designer, Justin Ramsden. And finally, more information on Lego idea sets. New in the box, the Legos themselves were divided into five bags, which I have painstakingly recreated here. Also included is a brick separator, which came in handy, and some extra parts. The inside of the box features cartoon versions of the Beatles waving from portholes in the yellow submarine on one side, and Lego versions of the Beatles on the other side. Let's get started with bag one. Whoops. Lego John Lennon is included within this first bag. Let's get him to come together. Now on to building this display platform. And here we go with the build of the actual yellow submarine. That'll do it for bag one, so let's get into bag two. Careful, Whew, they run all over. Bag two holds Lego Paul, so let's get them together. I'll place them on the display platform next to John and get back to building.
Here's bag three. No Legos over the side this time. Bag three houses Lego George, so he's next to get it together. Here comes the sun. More like here comes the fun. Hello, boys. I'll just continue the build. No subcontracting here, folks. Onto the penultimate bag of bricks. No surprise, this one houses Ringo. And here they are, together again. John, Paul, George, and Ringo. But wait, there's more. Bag five completes the build. This bag mostly consists of pieces for a platform. As a bonus, a figure of Jeremy Hillary Boob, PhD, is included. Ad hoc, ad lock, and quid pro quo. So little time, so much to know. I know I'm close to completing this build, so let's finish up. That's it for the sub, now just to build that platform. This is a bit of a strange design, but here it is. Jeremy even gets his own spot on the platform. Let's take a look at it all together now. All together now. Showcasing a few features of this set, the top comes off of the yellow submarine and you can see the fantastic detail of even the inside. There is enough room in the cabin to place all four of the fabs. The top can be replaced with the figures inside. This back compartment also opens. There is room enough to fit the accessories including John's telescope. Paul's little love, George's motor, and Ringo's hole from his pocket. I suppose you could store Jeremy's apple as well, if desired. The Beatles figures have two expressions each, 
which can be changed by rotating the heads one way or the other. Overall, this is a really fine collector's piece if you're a fan of the Beatles. It's a fun item. Although I didn't originally purchase it for myself, I'm really glad to now have it for my collection. I guess I'm officially a middle-aged man who plays with toys. The only question now is what to do with it. I think I'll display it, at least for a little while, but ultimately I will probably disassemble, organize, and put the item back into storage. Let me know in the comments what you're doing or would do with a Lego Yellow Submarine. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more Beatles related videos here on the Magical Mystery Mike channel.